Hey guys, I uh, wanted to shoot a quick video to show you how I send prints to my printer when I'm outside the house. Uh, so the prints that I do, there's about, I think, nine things that I print regularly. Um, and if I'm out at work or something and I get an email notification that an order came through, uh, I can literally turn my printer on remotely and then send the prints from the Bamboo Labs app for the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And then uh, if you'll see in my series, that's why I have the robot arm to uh, complete that automation process. So once I send the print, uh, it'll finish printing, the robot will take the plate out, put a new one in, and then I can send another print because uh, I would like to be able to do multiple prints while I'm at work or outside the house or on vacation or something. Um, so let me uh, pull up the screen here and you can see how I set up the app and the printer to uh, send these prints out from when I'm not at the house. Okay, you can see here, um, I'm on the Bamboo Lab um, portal uh, right here. It's launched on my desktop. So this is the screen that pops up. If I open an old project, this is GP2 Black PLA. They're already in there. My settings are already in there. My AMS is already hooked up. Um, so that's what's in my current AMS. So if I just hit slice, and then if I go to print plate, I will turn off the time lapse. The PLA is already selected, that's what's in the printer. The printer is selected, and I hit send. Right now it's sending. Um, okay, there it goes. So the trick is uh, you got to send it from the computer, and you'll see here it started, it's at 0%. Um, Right now it's doing, it's heating up the bed. And then I'm going to wait until it gets to, well it's at 0%. So generally I ended up, I end up printing one from my computer. And then once it's printed once from my computer, I can log into the app on my phone and click and print another one. So you can hear in the background right now the printer is warming up and starting. You can see the heat raising over here. Um, so I'm just going to stop this right now. If I hit stop, confirm, and print was cancelled, confirm. Alright, you can see we're on my phone here, and you see there's a print failure there on the screen. So if I swipe up, skip that, uh, and I open the Bamboo Lab app here, which is this. So it's the main screen. Um, if I go to the left here, you can see the printer is online at the top left, it says that. Uh, and then the device is idle. So if I go to the right and I click my face down on the bottom there, you see in my history there is uh, the print that failed. So if I click that, now I have the full option to send or re do a reprint. So if I click the reprint down here on the left, you'll see um, you get the normal options here. Um, you can turn on the enable AMS, bed leveling, flow calibration, time lapse if you want it. Or if you click the PLA, you could select the different filaments. Uh, that was just white, and I'll switch back to black here. And then I can hit print now, and then it came up with this error. Um, so I'm just going to hit refresh on the screen on the top here. Uh, it should automatically jump right into the print sequence. So if I click the little red line here, uh, give me one second, and there it goes. So now it says online, and then the print has started here. So I could be, I could have done this from anywhere. This could have been done outside the house since my computer and the printer are both set up with my Wi-Fi. Um, and then the big trick is I can actually turn my printer on. So if I go to the other app here, this is Wise, I believe. Um, you'll see on the bottom here, um, you need to get like a a base unit, so I have it as office base, and then the middle one is the 3D print camera, which I don't have on, and then the top one is an outlet. So I can actually hit the on button from the outlet and turn the printer on, and then switch back over to the Bamboo Lab app, and you can actually do all the settings that we just set up to where you go into uh, your face, and then you select your history and start a print. Hey, so I hope that process helped, um, and then I just wanted to follow up with a couple more things. So, 
Like I said, if I get an order when I'm outside the house, I can go into the Wise app, turn the printer on, switch over to the Bamboo Lab app, click on my face icon, it'll say my history. When you click on my history, then you can select old prints. Uh, and then the big trick is you have to have those prints sent from your computer first, and that's how they get onto the printer. And once they're already on there, whether they're a success or a fail, then you could reprint them. And uh, like some of my orders, they're either black or white. And when I click on an old black one, I can change the color as long as it's the same uh, material. So it can't be an ABS to a PLA, but it could be PLA to PLA, both black and white. And uh, it'll print the same because the temperatures and stuff are the same. So I hope that process helps. Uh, I hadn't seen anything online showing how to do that. Um, but like I said in the beginning, this is all part of the process of how I want to set up the auto robot to automatic, automatically change the process for the printer. So if you guys are interested in that, if you go to um, my playlist, I have a playlist uh, outlining this whole process and how I plan to do that. And uh, I just wanted to thank you for stopping by, checking out the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I can address them. Um, and uh, if you can, subscribe and stay in, uh, stay in the loop about how we uh, get the robot connected to the printer. Thanks for watching.